Mexican gray wolves were one of the most endangered species on Earth. After decades of attempting to bring them back, their numbers are up. And as they rise, so do tensions between people working to get them off the endangered species list and eastern Arizona ranchers who say they are paying the price in dead cattle. Here's ABC 15 investigator Courtney Holmes with part two of this story. We have 30,000, 40,000 acre pastures. The vast country in eastern Arizona, one of the reasons rancher Tom Patterson says it's so difficult to find his cows that may have been attacked by Mexican gray wolves. If we do find that cow, it has to be a relatively fresh kill. Because fresh wolf kills are more likely to be confirmed by investigators with USDA Wildlife Services. That confirmation allows ranchers to be paid when their cattle is killed. Some form of the program has been around for nearly 20 years, but Patterson is convinced. They're gonna change the rules so that there'll be more probable kills and a lot fewer confirmed kills. Now, confirming a kill means investigators have to find the wolf responsible. Repeat offending wolves can be transferred to a different area or lethally removed. Tom and other ranchers believe there's political pressure to stop that practice by reducing the number of confirmed kills through change in criteria. Is there a feeling that there were too many wolf kills being confirmed? I wouldn't say that necessarily. Keith Weiner is with USDA Wildlife Services. It investigates reports of Mexican gray wolves killing livestock. It also sets the rules for confirmation. The idea of a wolf removal has become less and less palatable. He told ABC 15 the goal of the changes isn't to reduce the number of confirmed kills, but to better justify them. Make sure that when somebody who doesn't trust wildlife services investigations comes and looks at those, they can say clearly, OK. There's obvious evidence of a wolf kill here. Who doesn't trust wildlife services? There's a whole group of NGOs that generally don't trust wildlife services. A lot of it's a philosophical difference in, in wildlife management. We want to see Mexican wolves restored throughout their historical range. Chris Smith is an advocate with Wild Earth Guardians, one of the NGOs or non-governmental organization that sued the federal government for stronger wolf protections. Subpopulation should be at least 750 wolves. He confirmed to ABC 15 they do not trust USDA Wildlife Services investigations because it works on behalf of the livestock industry and has an inherent conflict of interest when investigating livestock losses. Smith points to a report from The Intercept highlighting a whistleblower who claimed some in the agency were erroneously confirming wolf kills. He said the feds and ranchers have a duty to reduce interaction between livestock and wolves. That includes, you know, removing carcasses, putting up fences, putting up flattery when necessary, um, being a real cowboy out on the range when necessary. Half the wolves have GPS collars, but ranchers are not allowed real-time access to that information, something Tom says could help prevent those livestock deaths. And we can tell where the wolves are in our pastures. We can send someone out to haze the wolf away or to find the kills. For now, he says ranchers are doing what they can to mitigate their losses. But there will come a time where we say we have given it our best shot. We can't survive and we will close it up. Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona.